Hello everyone, hope you're all okay and I hope you've had a lovely Easter. Right, I'm coming on today with just a little bit of a a crafty catch-up type of thing. Uh, where shall we start? Right, last week, April the 1st, was our wedding anniversary. Mm, how many years? 38, I believe. 38 years. Anyway, uh our Mr Doodle's sister and brother-in-law bought us a little bag of goodies and they bought Mr Doodle at like um, an insect house, a little insect house. He's put it up outside now and they bought us a big bag of paint brushes and some glue sticks and then this unicorn, <laughs> this unicorn set, it was just um, a plain white unicorn and you get the papers and the glue and I had a little play <laughs> I did this the other day oh, I love her so much I enjoyed doing that and I felt she needed googly eyes these googly eyes are what the lovely Angie Beaumont sent me a long time ago and I love using those but yeah that was a lot of fun so you, you get the papers, the decoupage papers. Which I, I've never actually used those before. And then a little tub of glue. Get a little tub of glue in it and a little little brush as well. So that was fun. She's pretty, isn't she? On the packet, she just got little... Oops, just dropped my brush on the floor. Little... patterned hooves but as I was doing it she said no can I have over the knee socks please <laughs> she wanted over the knee socks so that's what she's got bless her and a pretty little corn and a pretty mane and a pretty tail so yes it's another Ursula all the Urs all the unicorns are Ursula well most of them anyway this one with another name but that's another Ursula so that's that just pop those over there in the googly eye drawer um what else right I did a little haul of stuff from the range the other week and I've got some containers and I've been filling those up with all my little um mm. Yeah, charms, that's the word, all my little charms. I love these, they're only one, 189 I think they are. And I like the slidey across bits. It's fastener, so that's that. And then the other one I've just started with some little silver ones. I don't know what else I shall find for those. Uh, and then I'd also bought a bigger one. I don't know whether... Oh, I don't know whether I showed you this one or not. But you know what I was saying about my washi tapes? I don't know whether I did show you this or whether I've bought this one since. But it's just ideal for my washi tapes. <laughs> or some of them. It's a different different fastener on there. I don't like those fasteners as much as the slidey across ones. But again, this was, I think it's called I Doodle. Oh, I've took the thing off the back. It's an I doodle one. The the other ones with the charms in are the art studio, but this is I doodle or something. I think it was just under three pounds, and I hadn't got it thinking washi tapes. I just got it because Mister Doodle had got one, and he said it was a good box, so we got one. But it fits a lot of my washi tapes in, so I was well pleased about that. I think I've got. I think there's forty eight. 24 spaces and some of them's got two in and some of them's got three and four i think it stored like over 50 all together so i was pleased with that and then the, and that just fits in one of my drawers there's a bit of wasted space in that drawer but then i've got this these are the rest of my washi tapes i've decided just to keep them in the packs so that's all nice and sorted now. Got a little box there with some in. And the glue dots. So I'm happy about those. 
Right, what else? Um, yesterday I finished off some ATCs. Anybody that watches my live videos, you'll probably remember I'd done some texture paste a few weeks ago and done some on ATC size pieces. Well, they've just been sitting on my desk since then. Oh dear. Yeah, stuff like this. That sort of thing that's bigger than ATC, but and then I'd put embossing powders on the top and all sorts of stuff. Well, I decided yesterday I wasn't really feeling it. Mr. Doodle said, Shall we go and do some crafting at the table? I said, Yeah, well, I don't know what, I'm not feeling it. Can't remember what he was doing now. He was just oh, he was putting bits and bobs away that he'd bought and sort of realizing the extent of the stuff that he's collected already. <laughs> God, oh dear, it's mental. Um, so he was doing that, and I thought, oh, I'll bring those ATCs down. And I used, oh, well, I'll show you. <coughs> oh. So we've got the the painty paper in the background. I've not. I'm go just going to put some paint on the back. I'm not going to put them on more card because. At the end of the day, we just keep them in folders, don't we? It's not as though they're taken out every day and looked at. So I think that's going to be fine. I've I've had some that are, are thin like that and they're absolutely fine. But I will just tidy the back up with some paint. Um, yeah, so we've got the background, which I'd already done around the edges with embossing powder. The fabric that I've used is this particular piece is some netting and some uh, organza and on some of the others there's cheesecloth and it's all what the lovely ruby from little books sent me for my 60th birthday so i've had that four years i have i do keep using it um or nearly four years yes and then one of my painty painty flowers I thought, I'm not going to use, I th thought about doing paper dolls. I thought, no, I want something different today. So, again, some of you may remember these that I did. A lot of them I did on one of the live videos. Love doing these. So I've just cut some of those up. Cut them in half, stuck some fabric underneath and then my favorite is gems that i have to show you every time because i love them sticker sheet daisies oh, i love these so much they're on the little sticky strips but i always take them off of there and then i just dob some pearl effect down I will one day tell you who I got that idea from, but I still haven't found out. It wasn't my idea. I had an incoming ATC that had got that on. I got that on and I thought, oh, I love that. So that's that one. They're all pretty much the same. Oh, and the words. I'll show you where the words come from in a minute. That one again. I don't think the don't think it's picking it up, but it's got the. Uh, some green organza and purpley, pinky purple cheesecloth. Same idea. The words. <laughs> right. You know the Tim Holtz words that you get? Well, on um, AliExpress, they've got a load of different words. And I got these ages ago. And they're really cheap. I, I think think there's four sheets. Yeah, there is four sheets in a pack. And for all of those, I think it costs, including postage, it cost me four pounds or something like that. Just over four pounds. Definitely wasn't five pounds. But you pay more than that for one pack of the Tim Ham. Not knocking Tim because I love his all his stuff. But so I got some of those. But. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to be able to find them now, but some of the phrases, and you really can't see on there, but they're, they're just I'm like, whoa, what on earth does that mean? <laughs> and they just make me laugh, some of them. Oh, I can't find anything. 
I can't find anything silly now, but I never walk backwards. <laughs> but I'm sure I will use them all. Life is a battle from cradle to grave. No, I can't. I can't find the ones that I, I thought was really a bit strange. Uh, no, but so I, I mean, if any of you have got them, you'll probably know what I'm talking about because some of them are really a bit weird. <laughs> but they're still they're still worth four pounds, so that's where my words have come from. So then we've got this one, the best things. A contented mind. So although I wasn't really in the mood and wasn't feeling it, I am reasonably pleased with them. <laughs> Radiance. Life is a journey. Contentment. Happiness. The best life. In this life. <laughs> Chances. And believe in yourself. So, yeah, that day was nice to do yesterday. Um, oh, I think that's it. Oh, when we went to the range, we went out last week with <coughs> Mr. Doodle's sister and brother-in-law. Uh, they had they celebrated their 60th wedding anniversary. And um, anyway, we went out for a meal with them on whatever day we went out last week can't remember wednesday was it? i don't know and we stopped at we went went out nottingham way and we stopped at hobbycraft and the range in nottingham hobbycraft honest to goodness hobbycraft is it's just pants i mean the actual shop it's very well laid out shop nice and clean very spacious but I don't know, it just doesn't float my boat. <laughs> but then we went into the range and the range was really good. I didn't get a lot of stuff. I probably got that box with the washi tape in for the washi tape, actually. I can't, can't remember. I think Mr Doodle got some bits. can't remember what he got. But I also spotted these mica powders. Now, I didn't even know... The range sold these until Andrea mentioned that she'd pick some up. I thought, oh, I've never seen any of those. <clears throat> but again, all the different stores carry different stock. So we should be having a play with some of those sometime. But they were, what is the two, four, so there's eight. And I can't quite remember whether there was just under or just over three pounds, but... I mean, there probably won't be any good. I don't know whether Andrea's used hers, what she thinks, but when they're cheap like that, you don't mind, do you? And that is it, I think. I don't think I've got anything else to show you. Mm -mm -mm. No, that is it. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Thank you ever so much for watching, everyone. Take care, have a lovely week, and I will speak to you soon. Bye, thank you.